I'm Stan Ellsworth. You might have heard me talking about history on American Ride. But today, I want to talk about the United States Constitution, how it came to be, why it came to be, and what makes the United States Constitution a revolutionary document even today. So throttle up, baby. Let's hear the story. So why the Constitution? Well, first, we've got to remember that the Articles of Confederation hadn't gotten the job done. They hadn't created the unity we wanted. You see, under the Articles, we were a confederated republic. It's a very loose association of states. And frankly, it made every state its own little kingdom. People still thought of themselves as, I'm a Virginian, or I'm a Pennsylvanian. But under the Constitution, we were one republic. We were Americans first. The Constitution had given us that unity. And it had created a framework where no matter how different we were, no matter how diverse our points of view, we could stand as equals and with courtesy and respect for one another, come together, talk about our differences, find compromise, and build that nation. Now let's look at a few more of the differences between a confederated in a constitutional republic. You see, under our Articles of Confederation, the federal government only had two parts. It had a legislature and a chief executive. And frankly, the chief executive was a milk toast. All he could do was recognize who was going to speak in Congress. The real authority rested with the state governors. These guys, they held the power. And they didn't have to get along. There was no compelling reason. Under the Constitution, there's three parts to the federal government. There is a strong chief executive, our president. There is a legislature. And there are federal courts. Under the Articles, there were no federal courts. That's because the states created the courts. The states created their own very different laws. And the states created their own very different penalties. But under the Constitution, the courts were uniform. The laws are standardized, and the penalties and punishments are the same. It's in this way that the United States Constitution guarantees that every American citizen stands equal before the law. So what have we done with this Constitution? Well, the first thing we did was we definitely reduced the redundant redundancy in a redundant government. Now, I'm not kidding with you. Under the Articles of Confederation, Every state was doing the same thing as every other state. And then the federal entity was trying to do the same thing that every state was doing. And all we managed to do was get in each other's way. With the Constitution, we streamlined the process of government. We've clearly defined what the powers are that we've enumerated to the federal government, what the powers are that are retained by the states and what the shared powers are that both the states and the federal government may be operating at the same time. All in all, the Constitution has given us a unity and ability of government that is unique in the world. So what was the magic of the Constitutional Convention? What is the legacy that the Constitution gives us today? When the many men gathered in Philadelphia at the Constitutional Convention of 1787, they came with a diversity of opinions, and often they couldn't agree on anything. And the Constitutional Convention, when you look at the story, truly is a great symphony of, of compromise, of consensus, but it's something much more. These men, as they shared their opinions together, found unity and created something far greater and far better than anything that anyone had thought of before a method of government that gives the people their voice and serves them in a way that no government had done so before. And that's the legacy that the Constitution gives us, a framework where we can stand as equals and no matter how diverse our opinions, we can share those thoughts and ideas with one another. It's really not about Democrats and Republicans or conservatives and liberals. It's about Americans. And when we stop looking at one another as opposites or the enemy and esteem one another as partners in this great experiment in self-government, 
then we too can create something far more beautiful and far more wonderful than anything that anyone has imagined before. And that's the legacy that's been built for the American people. We'll see you next time for Article One, The Legislature. Subscribe now. It's history with attitude and the American story with an edge.